for you guys. I want to show you Bitcoin. I'm going to show you a few scenarios of what I'm looking at. I just shorted 5% more. I added to this position here. Uh, I, I am statistically looking for several things to possibly occur here. And I want to try to balance this out, you know, with um, uh, there's something called the inside and outside market. And I want you to think of a duality of uh, two parallel universes that work in um, uh, together, even if they're separate. And inside and outside the marketplace um, gives you interesting statistical uh, possibilities. And uh, a lot of people aren't able to even conceptualize this. I'm not going to even go into um, uh, the complexities of this because it's purely mathematical. And uh, <laughs> uh, it, it brings up some interesting possibilities. And it helps me drill down the statistics of what's likely to occur in the future. Well, here's one possibility. I'm going to go to the short term. I already have things marked out probabilities wise, long term, short term, um, and, you know, midterm, let's say, uh, and it scales. And I want you to think of expanding scales and it balances it out. It's kind of like a, a, a pulsating wave. I want you to think about a wave and a pulsating, um, like the sun shining, it's pulsing, right? And then you get waves like in the ocean and so forth. Well, an oscillation. Um, well, statistics kind of work like that, and they, they scale, and you don't see it in the chart because uh, mathematically you're looking at fixed linear um, proportionality of what you're you know, visualizing. Uh, that's generally not the way life and, and uh, uh, the universe really works. Uh, so when I'm looking at this, let's take some possibilities. I'm going to show you one. This is the bigger possibility that we're in. And this could cause some real short-term turmoil in the marketplace. And nobody would be expecting it. And it, it starts, it comes to this point here, of uh, the 63, 6400 area right down there. And it could extend all the way down to even under 5,000, back under the 5K area. Um, there's no way to predict what it's going to choose and whatnot, but I could kind of, uh, we'll say certain things, elements will fall into place, kind of like cards being laid down one after another and the numbers start to make sense. You take away, uh, as you lay down a card, it goes over and recalculates because that card's been laid down. So now you only have the other cards to go off of in the deck, right? So it's kind of like that. So you wait for these elements and so forth. So I added 5% short more. Um, and I'm going to show you one other possibility. And now from here, I'm going to have to go over and drill down the actual statistics of what's possible to occur within the given um, variations that I see and the numbers that presented themselves to me uh, currently. So. Uh, let's draw this one. This is the more bullish scenario. Now it stretches from the 85, low 8500, all the way down to this uh, low 8000 area. So let's say 8300 is the median. And then it can stretch all the way back up to here, which would be around the uh, low to mid 11,000 range. All right. There's no way to pinpoint exactly where it's going to go. It's not what we do. We're not trying to predict anything. We're just trying to figure out the statistics of what's likely to occur. So I have to keep this into in mind. And when I'm positioning and uh, looking to exit and enter positions, uh, this is also a possibility. Now, again, it cycles through here. It makes good sense. And I've got this planned out how I'm going to trade this. Um, now, the long range statistics, I'm not going to show you that today. Uh, and uh, there's a good reason for that. I, I have a good idea of what's going to occur statistically and proportionality much better going out six months and on. And I have a very good idea 
and uh, it's two scenarios, and I'm not going to even talk about them. I'm going to wait for this to short term to balance itself out, and um, then from there, I'm going to take that longer term picture and then apply that uh, to the overall mix, and it should be very interesting and very good for us. That's all I'll say. Uh, but I'm going to keep this very short. I'm probably going to do an, uh, likely going to do an update during the week, probably around Wednesday or Thursday after we get the moves here. And you can see what, how I, I reacted statistically. Right now I got to go over and calculate a bunch of numbers and run this, um, uh, through a bunch of different data sets and, uh, try to compute this correctly. And that's going to take me a bunch of time. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to cut this video short. I added at the 9100 area off of this, and I'm looking for a move down here at the very least, or an extended move even lower. And then we'll go from there. And uh, that's basically it. That's where we are. And I'll probably, I'll just update you during the week. Um, I'm expecting interesting things to occur. But that's up to the market. I don't predict anything. I just go off numbers and what I see and what the market often does. And again, I'm staying away from the, uh, you know, I saw the message that one of the members put in there and uh, never chase the dragon. Uh, a lot of the things that you see in the marketplace, uh, unless, if, if you believe in the vision of a coin for, you know, an investment, it's not a trade. What I'm doing here is trading. If you believe in it as an investment, buy and hold. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. That's up to you. Um, if I believed in something as an investment, I'd buy and hold it and let it go for five years or more. You know, if I really believed in their vi vision, like the Theta vision, where they have the unified trading plat um, uh, video platform and uh, you know you earn coin and all that kind of like the bat browser does and it's not a bad idea I mean I believe that might be the future and so forth but those are investments what I'm doing here is trading and do understand that um, and as far as the altcoins go there's nothing there to trade I'm not going to play around with that Binance manipulation right now because I don't understand their uh, value proposition I'll do it on high um, liquidity coins like the BNB and so forth, when I see the value proposition. When I can see their manipulation and what they're aiming to do, then I will take, you know, uh, you know, I'll, I'll go over and, and buy or sell and, and uh, get into a position to actually profit off of that, uh, you know, if it becomes clear to me. But nothing statistically makes, you know, good sense right now, so I'm going to stick to Bitcoin. And other than that, I'll update you during the week, and we'll go from there. You guys have a great weekend.